friends, family, staff, and fellow classmates, or I should say graduates. Today marks a day of many feats, a time where we look down the mountainside and reflect around the divots and barriers we had overcome to get to this very point in time. I was asked to share a bit of my journey with all of you and reflect on my experiences that I've had with the staff and students of CRS and University of Winnipeg at large. Ten years ago, I began my journey in pursuit of a higher education. Most people enter university for the promises that education makes of securing themselves economically. I, on the other hand, was coming from a different place, one of self-worth. See, I believe that if I could only be a pharmacist or a doctor or even dentist, I would be something to be respected, something revered. Little did I know this wrong vision of mine would soon change my life. I began my courses and soon after my first semester, things were not working out as planned. See, I'd been living my young life by the definitions of others, and it wasn't until this young man in my life, one of the loves of my life, had suggested to explore what the university had to offer. Of course, I met him with great reluctance because arts wasn't my thing. I was told years prior to that I should never take up writing, as for I was horrible at it. I should avoid doing it at all costs. However, I decided to take my chance, and I walked into my very first CRS class. My first instructor was Jerem Zawatsky. His magnificent beard and beaming smile was really what won me over. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But his poise and ability to let the conversation flow and be engaging and encouraging as an instructor were promising. Reading the course material every week was exciting, more interesting than the last. Engaging in dialogue and the group collaboration and acceptance of feelings and ideas were inspiring. See, conflict resolution, resolution is sort of a love story for me. A love story of discovering myself and understanding the world I live in. I soon realized that doctors, nurses, and pharmacists, and the like, took care of the physical well-being of the society, but CRS was looking to take care of the spiritual well-being of its people. One can be physically fit if we don't manage our, our affairs right with the loved ones and all those whom we interact with. We would be unable to reach our full potential. The CRS material I have read, the documentaries I have watched, and the lectures I have heard changed me through and through in words I cannot describe in this short amount of time. I've taken classes that have changed my complete perspective in life and have flipped my world on its head. The brilliant and amazing people working endlessly to create a better future for the world we live in continues to inspire me and I wouldn't have known them if I hadn't ever taken CRS as my major. I feel that conflict rest has opened me to a world unlike any other and understanding that difficulties, if you will, are not roadblocks, but catalysts that propel us to reevaluate the course of action we take better suit our outcomes. One of many great things that I will hold on to from this whole experience is that no matter what I do in this life, I will be connected to each and every person, directly and indirectly, because no action goes without effect. Knowing this will help me continue on this journey to help myself and help others around me to be effectively loving people. I met many people through these courses, many of whom will be a part of me till my end. To my educators, I say thank you for inspiring me and being the encouragement. And guide I needed when I was lost. Thank you to my fellow classmates who shared their experiences, their lives with me. Your